Okay, guys, I know that every time somebody mention orange chicken, you think about sweet chicken, but it's not always the case. So today we are making orange chicken, no sweet. See you in a little bit. Okay, guys, for our orange chicken, we're gonna use four sour orange, and we're gonna use the squeezer, but after you got all your juices out, we're gonna add some salt, a tablespoon of salt, and also we're gonna use half a tablespoon of ground pepper, some garlic powder and onion powder, with chili flake, not too much, not too spicy, paprika, we're gonna add half a tablespoon of paprika and some ginger too. And we're gonna mix all together. We're gonna use also a little bit of um, cilantro. Yeah, that tastes good, cilantro, and half of an orange. You can add a whole orange if you want to, but I'm, I'm not, I'm just using half of a sour orange. Now we're gonna bring your chicken to the table and you can um, remove all the excess of fat if you want to and the, the wings if you want to. You can take out the tip of the wing I'm doing it because I don't like the tip of the wind. So I'm cutting it off and I'm gonna take all the excess of the fat. Now you're gonna bring your chicken to a bowl and then we're gonna add some or make some holes. One in each leg and one over here and one in the other leg. And then we're gonna add one in the breast or two. So the, the seasoning can get into it very well. And we're gonna bring your season, we're gonna season your chicken very well, everywhere, under the skin, at the bottom, everywhere you can, so the seasoning can get into it. And after you got all this ready, we're gonna put the half of the orange inside of the chicken. And then you're gonna add, after that, your, um, after you put your sour orange inside of the chicken, we're gonna bring your cilantro, and you're gonna put inside of the chicken too. The rest of the juices, we're gonna put it on top of the chicken and let it rest for about 20 minutes. Your oven should be preheated at 400 degrees Fahrenheit at this point, like I always do. Preheat my oven at 400 degrees. If your oven is better at different degree, that's fine. You can do that too. Mine work very well at 400 degrees. Now, when you have all your, uh, your, your your chicken is very well seasoned. You can, you can put together the legs with the stick or you can use a, a tie. I don't have a tie, so that's why I'm using a little stick to keep it together. Hopefully it can stay like this. Now you're gonna um, bring your chicken to a pan um, to bring it to the oven. And this is how it look. You're gonna put your chicken in the pan and then you bring all the juices together and put it back on the chicken. When you got all this together, we're gonna bring that to the oven at 400 degrees, as I said, for one hour or one hour and a half, or until it reach 165 degree Fahrenheit, or 74 Celsius. Now, after one hour and a half, we're gonna bring our chicken out of the oven, and we're gonna place it in the table, and you will see how it look after it's done. This is how it look, all the juices and all the goodies are still here. Now you're gonna make a good presentation, just bring it in a plate. And you can um, you can add some oranges if you want to. It don't have to be sour, it can be sweet orange, just for the presentation. Take a look very well, this is how it look. And you now you can bring your, your oranges and decorate your delicious chicken. And this is how it look after you put all the oranges together. Now, if you have some orange juice, it can mix and match very well. Actually, fresh orange juice is very well. It's combined very well with chicken. You can use whatever you want with chicken. Now, let's see how it look in the, in the, in the breast. It look juicy and well done. It's very well done. Remember, to make sure that it's reach 160 degree Fahrenheit. And this is how we look. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe, give it a like, 
share with friends and family, and see you in my next video.